um good afternoon guys um we thank you ria for joining us ria is a swe intern at red hat congratulations ria for grabbing such a prestigious internship at such a big firm thank you um so let's start with a uh, some small introduction so can you ria can you please introduce yourself yeah sure so thank you for inviting me so my name is ria singhal and i'm currently pursuing internship at red hat a uh, sw intern at red hat and i'm a mentor at geeks for geeks and currently in my final year pursuing btech from krishna engineering college oh that's great um so like how did you apply for this opportunity and where did you get to know about it okay so this was an off campus opportunity so i got to know about it through the linkedin so one of the engineer at red hat posted about it so i reached out to him and uh, sent him my resume and asked for referral oh referrals on linkedin is a very great source of getting into good firms all right um so like what was the process of your application so after you applied so what all steps were there okay so like i applied uh, in september some mid september so there was online assessment in october and in november there were interviews so okay. total there were four rounds so um, can you elaborate more on the online assessment part like how were the questions the difficulty level yeah sure so online assessment was of one hour and there were total five questions three mcqs and two coding questions so for the coding question it was like one was lead code easy and another was lead code medium and the three mcqs are based on trees and graphs oh okay um so like was there any eligibility criteria to get an interview call after the online assessment i i don't know much about it but like uh, like i solved all the questions so like maybe solving four or five can get them to be called okay so um can you throw some light on the technical rounds that you might have for the red yeah, hat yeah sure yeah sure so the technical rounds were like mixed of everything so like the first technical round was taken by two software engineers and the second technical round was taken by two senior software engineers so they were like mixed questions like there were questions from core subjects that includes data structures object oriented programming then dbms sql then operating system like all the core subjects then there were discussion on projects and past internships and then there were coding questions like in the first technical round i was asked two coding question and in the second four coding questions and there were puzzles oh that's quite a lot okay um so moving on uh, so were there any kind of hr rounds or managerial rounds yeah so there were managerial round there was a, a one managerial round so uh, it was not specifically hr round basically they brief uh, he briefed about the internship and then there were discussion on projects internships and like what all technologies i'll be working on and some behavioral questions so like what kind of behavioral questions like do you remember anything from it and like how um, how were the questions like behavioral question could be like uh, the time when you like uh, showed up like you are a fast learner some thing like application of your fast learning like about you like uh, what was the time when you like learned so fast and like something about previous internship that so the general questions that we can expect yes so um what was the motivation to crack this internship okay so actually uh, i was trying off campus so when i applied at red hat i was applying to several other product based companies also because there was no guarantee that uh, applying to one and can get an interview call from one company only so like i knew that if i'm applying then i should try my best so that i could make the best out of it Oh okay wow that's really nice so um you got the internship now so what are your expectations about this internship like uh, definitely i want like uh, to get a ppo from here but uh, more over like learning and like exploring um any other expectations maybe 
I mean, learning new technologies or um, exploring the culture of Red Hat. Yeah, like uh, Red Hat culture, like uh, what I have seen till now is very uh, good. Like the Red Hat culture is amazing. So like I really want to explore it. And also my internship is Bangalore based. So I might get a chance to go there as well. Wow. So any any last piece of advice for our viewers? I would say just uh, keep learning, keep practicing and just enjoy the process. Um, maybe like something that you would want to um, tell um, the viewers, like how did you get an internship? Like what was your mantra of, you know, keeping getting focused all the time? Because, you know, at some point of time, we all feel very depressed because we're not getting anywhere and we're not sometimes not even getting the links for the online assessment. So like how, what was your motivation to get, um, you know, getting um, focused all the time and practicing data structures and other subjects. Okay. So like, um, there's always a good day and there's always a bad day. So like, if today is a good day, then you should not get even too overwhelmed because a bad day could also be there. And like, if today I'm not able to make it. So, but it's, it's like quite uh, obvious that it's a human tendency that we will feel sad about it. Like if the interview can't get clear, but, it should not get affected uh, for too long because that will eventually affect the learning. So like if you are sad, just then it's fine if it is for one day, but it should not exceed more than that because eventually the sunrise will come after the sunset. Oh, okay. So like, are you looking for other opportunities or like you're just satisfied with Red Hat and you would want to go um, for, like as you mentioned, the PPO? Yeah, I'm satisfied with Red Hat. Oh, wow. That's great to know. Um, so, yeah, that was it. Um, thank you so much. Um, so, like, let's give some of the time for our viewers to ask some questions. So, like, any questions you can please type in the chat box and um, Mia would be happy to take it. Um, uh, can you, Ria, can you see any questions in the comment? No. Okay, um, I guess there are no more questions. Would you like to wait a minute more or like? Okay, there are like two questions. Like what path did you follow for DSA? So like uh, there was like not specific path. Like I started learning DSA in my third year. So I went through like level by level. I first tried to solve arrays, then strings, linked list like whatever the general pattern is and like try solving first easy level questions. Then once you are comfortable, uh, go to medium level. And for hard, you can uh, give like minimum time because hard is not much required. Uh, you should give much time to medium level questions. So like what was your favorite coding platform? So did you, did you go for competitive coding or just the lead code practicing? Have you cracked this internship? Like I explored competitive programming in third year, but I didn't uh, dive much in, into that. But like I was active with DSA. So I was active on platforms uh, of Geeks for Geeks and Lead Code. Okay, great. So I guess we have one, like any other question do we have? Uh, there's a question, discount code. I don't know. Oh, no, code. no. No, 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 that's, that's nothing. Okay, so yeah, that's it, I guess. Uh, no more questions. Thank you so much, Ria, for joining us and enlightening, enlightening us with your journey. Um, that's it. Um, thank you so much. Thank you.